Hey, Steve Zucker, welcome back. Yeah, I just thought I'd redo some of these ideas in the flamenco tuning. By the way, this uh, Yamaha uh, flamenco guitar has such incredible mid-range and mid-bass. This is the uh, CG172SF. And that's really where a lot of the magic is in a great guitar. I don't care what kind of guitar it is, is the mid-range and the mid-bass. But this, this flamenco uh, Yamaha has such beautiful, beautiful... Uh, warm yet articulate mid-range and mid but I thought I'd just show some of, this, some of the ideas in the lower frets here so you can get a better a better feel for them um, so yeah one of the chords was this chord Anyway, yeah, th th these Yamahas are really, here's another chord I was doing. I know that some of these didn't show up real good in the last recording. You can also go to this form. Find a beautiful chord, move it around. But yeah, the simple forms like this. If you want a bit of a classical flavor, you can kind of use things like this, intervals. I think that's really pretty. Or you can kind of do things like Here's, a, here's another chord I recently found. You do something like this. And then a bit of a stretch. So I just wanted to mostly so you can see this chord here. Or this one. Or this one. Yeah, this Yamaha just has a But like I said, I mostly just wanted to reshow some of these chords. Anyway, yeah, Yamaha CF172SF, incredible, incredible guitar for the money, but they do vary. I mean, people have to understand that every guitar, even Chet Atkins said this, every guitar is a little bit different, and uh, you have to really 
play a lot of guitars to find the one that has the magic mojo. It's not bullshit. <laughs> Keep the positive faith. Think about what you're thinking about. Focus on positive thoughts. Ciao.